Hey, Izumi here, and I'm doing Hell's Battle Academy. So let's go with Solstice first. Um, I like the resuscitation gear on her. She's pretty squishy. Um, General Tholin. Flash Axe is actually really good because of the stone skin, and it has decent stats and hits pretty hard. Um, definitely going to need Chaos Rings for this. Erd. And I, this, again, I kind of like because of the attack buff. Which will go straight to Tholin and Solstice. Now we have Poel. A lot of AoE light gear. And Envy. Again, a lot of these two are some AOE light gear, the rainbow shooter, that's what that does, it, it has really decent stats, that's the reason I'm using it, and the dread dress, again, because of the stats are really good, so let's go on with the fight. Okay, so Hell's Battle Academy. So Hell is an Aesir and Airborne, and Momiji and Cannon are humans and grounded. And if you notice, they're all wearing their schoolgirl outfits. And um, in this fight, humans, Therian, and Beast get shaded by Hell's auto skill. Momiji inflicts Dark Wound to all races, and at 7 star and 8 star gives quick to all of her allies. Cannon just does fire damage to three of your heroes at random. Hell also generates a chaos field at 7 star and a high chaos field at 8 star. To help cut down on dark wound a little bit, you can try using the uh, Garm decorations. Uh, most effective element against Hell and Momiji are light. Is light. Cannon is weakest to dark, but I probably wouldn't use any kind of dark attack in this. Um, some other heroes that you could probably use would be Thor, Odin, Norn, and Skald. And um, basically any kind of light Aesir would probably be halfway decent. But you can also use uh, Dwarfs and Elves and Jotun. So... All in all, the biggest problem for me with this fight is the Dark Wound. So if you use the Garm decorations and and or get rid of Momiji decently fast, then your characters won't take as much damage. There we go. Almost got him. Goes Cannon and Momiji down, and then... Hell usually dies fairly quick after that. And also in this fight, if you have Norn, she is boosted. Just be a little bit careful as she is a little squishy. So here we go. That's the end. Let's see how much damage. Usually it ends up, for me, Poel does the most. And there we go. Have a good day.